I'm working on this video game. That's one of my favorite scenes in the video game right now because it really reminds me of being caught in a storm on a boat, which I have been, which sucks, and you just have to ride it out. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, you can play through to the end of the game now. So now I'm adding things like sound effects and some other effects and stuff. And one of the really kind of tricky things for me is I'm adding music. So I'm making music. So at the risk of some embarrassment to myself, I'm going to share some of what I've been working on here. Oh, you'll have to excuse my whiskers. Uh, the, the kids got a hold of me this morning. They also did my hair, which is... Okay, honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I downloaded this program called MuseScore. MuseScore 3. And it works with sheet music. Cause, so you basically get a blank sheet of sheet music, and then you can take notes and put them in there wherever you want. And then, you know, you can move them around and stuff. And I'll put that back where it was, because I don't want to mess this up. So I've been trying to make a bunch of songs that are like 30 seconds to a minute long that loop well, as in they play and when it gets to the end, it goes back to the beginning and it, it, it's seamless. Like it just sounds like the, the song is continuing, but it's, you know, it's video game music for, you know, that can just keep looping and looping and not sound terrible. Um, and I've had this for about two weeks. Here, let me show you one of the first things I made. This is a pretty simple song. This one doesn't loop. It just plays once. When, whenever you get to a safe place. So here, let me just, uh, this is, this is safe place music. That bug was not safe. Oops. All right, I accidentally stopped it. That was right at the end, though. Um, all right, and some of the other ones... Okay, this is the last thing I'm working on. I think it's pretty good right now. Oh, and you can also choose different instruments, musical instruments in this. So this is piano, piccolo, and harp, but I don't think there's anything in the harp section. This song is just piano. So this is a song... I, I needed a song for when, you know, the stuff was hitting the fan. Like exciting, there's a battle going on kind of thing. So that's what that's what this is. And I, I swiped a little bit of the beginning of Doctor Who. For any Doctor Who fans, you may recognize this beginning little part. And that's right back to the beginning again. All right, here's a okay. Here's here's a song for when something kind of interesting is happening. It's also kind of mysterious. Here. And that one just loops too. Uh, I don't remember what this one is. Here. Oh, this is when some scary stuff's kind of happening.
And that one just loops again. I don't think I played this one yet. Alright, that's back to the beginning again. And uh, I think there's one other one I wanted to play real quick. Okay, this one is for when you uh, are coming into a mysterious place. So you get the idea, basically. Now, I don't want to give away any important plot points, so I'll just show a little bit of this music at the beginning. See, everything's peaceful. You're at home, everything's cool. And there is another kind of music I'm working on. Okay, here's the other style of music I'm working on which is just based on what's on the screen. So, walking around, there's nothing. So you get on your robot, you got a beat. And then you get... So now there's an enemy robot also on the screen, and you get two intermixed beats that are different. So when there's uh, more stuff going on on the screen, you get more uh, more additions to the music. Although at some point, I, I stopped adding things because then you know all the bullet sounds and all that stuff kind of uh, end up drowning out a lot of the music anyway. And I'm not sure about the sounds I have in right now, um, but I think it you know they're just kind of to test that this kind of thing works, and I think it works pretty well. Like, it's nice if you're just walking around and then the music changes, and even if you can't see the guy, you know there's someone there. Like, sometimes a guy will be on top of a tree or under a tree or something, and you can't see where he is, but you can hear that someone's there. I've also been messing around with the 3D-ness a little bit to get the effect to work better. Because this is running in a, a two-dimensional game engine but you can obviously go up and down under things and around and stuff. You can jump on top of trees, then you can go under them. So that's about what I've been working on in my evenings. In my daytime, I'm, I'm just digging. I'm gonna, I'm close to being able to show that stuff. But one, another thing I wanna do with the game is like, I have all the stuff done for the main plot line, but I want to fill out the world a little bit. You know, like, uh, put some more people in, and maybe some little side quests and stuff. And I'm thinking of having a contest for you guys. I'll make a separate video about this. But so that people can be in the video game. Um, so that when I put new people in, I can just give them people's names and have them say whatever you want, and wear whatever you want them to wear, or whatever. Not that you can see much. I mean, a person is like 12 pixels wide. But, you know, I can make them whatever color. Give them pixely hairdos and stuff. 
Oh, and contest is probably the wrong word. It's more like anybody who does this can be in the game kind of thing, you know? But I'll, I'll, make, a, I'll make a video about that. First of all, first I have to play the game through from beginning to end and make sure everything is currently stable. Because, you know, I'm always changing things and sometimes it messes something up in a different part of the game. So anytime I upload the game, which I don't do that often because I have to do this, I have to play the game from beginning to end, which takes a while. It's a pretty long game now. So I have to play it all the way through just to check that there's no major bugs going on.